Okay, everybody, this is an update of my blood work. I got blood work done, and um, I've been to the cardiologist, so I'm updating you on that. Uh, uh, for the past few months, maybe a month or so ago, I started having chest pains. And we have, um, well, I have uh, heart disease in my family. Like it hit my grandmother in her 30s and it hit my father in his 40s. So that was a little scare for my family. Um, I went to the cardiologist on the 10th of February. He did a basic physical and he ordered bloods. He found nothing wrong that day. He figured it was gas. <laughs> So I went back um, to the cardiologist yesterday, which was the 22nd of February, and we did an echo test and we did a stress test. <laughs> I would never do that again. That was horrible. Running on a treadmill for 15 minutes with these things hooked to you. That wasn't fun. But good news, he didn't find anything wrong with my heart, and he says everything came out normal. So I guess if I drop dead it won't be heart related <laughs> he told me I had gas and told me to take an antacid um, the, the chest pains have decreased over time they were pretty strong maybe about a month or so ago and then they gradually got um, less and less now I ha hardly feel them at all so I jokingly told him I probably grew out of them maybe they were just growing pains or something who knows um, but I did get my blood work though. And I got my HIV results and my and my white blood count. Um, I did. I forgot to tell you guys in the last video that my white blood count was really really low. Um, November 10th, I believe, when I went to get blood works last, um, my white blood count was 1.8. Um, if you know, normal is 4 to 10. So 1.8 is like half of the lower um, aspect of normal, which is half of that. So that's bad. The white blood count of 2 is pretty low. So um, my doctor totally went into orbit because I'm not taking HIV meds. And so, you know, she went up into the stratosphere when she saw how low my white blood count was. And she stole, told me to stay away from crowds, not to have a pet. She told me uh, to buy a thermometer and if my temperature reached, you know, like 99 degrees or something, go immediately to the emergency room because I could be dead within hours. I mean, she, she was telling me some crazy stuff back there in November. And of course, she, um, she uh, prescribed me Nuprogen. But after reading the side effects, <laughs> I decided to take my chances with the low white blood count. And so far, I haven't been sick. So, um, I don't know if you would consider me lucky or, 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 or what. or what. But um, it was 1.8. You know, she was scared. So, we retested my white blood count a week later. And it registered at 2.9. Which is still low. But it's higher than it was a week prior. I guess that was good. So, of course, we got all those new results. And this was three months ago. So, now we have the new results. My viral load is 322,000. Which is down from 500,000. Which is not a big difference. It's down, but, you know, 322,000 versus 500,000 really isn't a big deal. Um, my T-cells are low. I mean, my T-cells are so low, pretty soon I'm going to owe T-cells next time I go. I mean, I have 52. Before, three months ago, they were at 71, which again, it really isn't a big deal. It's not a, well, I'm going to get hate mail for that, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not saying it's, it's not a big deal. I'm saying it's not a big difference between 52 and 71. It's low. I mean, if my T-cells quadrupled, I would still have AIDS. That's just how low my T-cells are right now. <laughs> my T-cells are so low, they're almost in the negatives. You know? 
everything else checked out okay my cholesterol is low considering the diet that I have my cholesterol is 121 that's good all I eat is steak and potatoes <laughs> you know I'm a truck driver that's what we do <laughs> there are no apples and oranges in my truck I swear to god I did there just isn't um, I'm working now as you can see I'm in the truck I um, hoping I could do this video at home where I have nice pretty lights and you know a nice background and stuff but this week that's quite not going to happen this is going to be a very busy week for me um, there is no sickness to talk about there have been no illnesses to talk about um, let me see I had chest pains for about a month a month and a half actually I've had them for a month before I even went to the doctor about them because I um, one busy with the work and two, I did not want to go to the doctor just for them to tell me they couldn't find anything wrong, which I feared would happen, and it did. Um, the doctor said, or the cardiologist that I went to, he said that my pains are not heart-related, most likely gas, because I'm sitting in a truck all day long and not exercising anymore like I used to. Um, so, I'm going to have to get out and jog or something you know and get more active like I was before I got my driver's license 15 years ago I guess I don't know um so so far everything is well um I had a slight bug this past weekend uh my mother said it was a stomach um there's, there's been a stomach virus going around so I think I was touched by it a little bit um I stayed around the house on Saturday didn't do much on Sunday, I stayed in the house. Uh, Monday, I had the cardiologist appointment, so I was running doing that. And today is Tuesday, and I'm back at work. So the bug, you know, really lasted two days. You know, it knocked me out for two days. I got some good sleep, though, I can tell you that much. Me and my dog, my dog is the best nurse when you're sick, let me tell you. Um, I, that's it. For, um, there, there's nothing much else to say you know my t-cells are still low very low my viral load is still high and I consider myself healthy my white blood count is low I mean down in the ground kind of low <laughs> but so far I haven't had any ill effects of a low white blood count you know I go on the YouTube and I um, uh, I watch videos of people with low white blood count and they complain about having no energy and sores not healing things like that and so far none of that has happened to me you know I have a blue collar job and I get cut and scraped quite a bit and all of my sores heal normally the way they've always have so I'm not concerned about it you know I just told you about a bug that I had this past weekend and it went away um, normally so um, I'm not worried about having a low white blood count. I haven't seen any ill effects of a low T cell count yet, so I'm not worrying about that either. Um, I wish you guys well. I'll be updating you on if anything happens. I should be getting blood work again in the next three or four months or so. Until then.